Hello and welcome to this capsule quick tips video and today we're going to be looking at tags, data tags and customer fields and they are three areas that can be confusing and so don't worry if you are confused by them, lots of people are. Hopefully in this video we will uh, reduce that confusion, in fact com make complete clarity about what they are. We're going to look at how to use them, uh, what to use them for, and uh, how to make the most of them because they're really, really useful within your system. So first of all, we're going to have a think about them as a concept because it makes it easier to think about them before we look at them um, on the actual system. So I'm going to share my screen with you so that we can have a look and see how they work together and how the system actually all ties together. So I'm going to share my screen with you and we're going to look at the how capsule is made up how it's made how it hangs together okay so there are three main areas the first is the data bank the second is the pipeline and the third is projects so in the data bank we have the central storage place is where we do our marketing from is where we keep um, on top of groups of contacts it's where we can dice and slice different groups we might have people that we've met networking we might have our associates in there we might have partners in there as well as potential clients um, actual clients and even and previous clients so really useful area every single person and organization that's on the system is in the data bank Next, we have the pipeline. So this is where we can manage our opportunities and our sales. So we can keep on top of our sales process. We can manage individual opportunities and all of those opportunities are added together to give us um, a, a pipeline that we're looking at currently um, versus a 100% success rate as well. So absolutely brilliant area. Third area, another fantastic area is projects. This is where we can manage the work that we deliver to our clients. So in the pipeline and in projects, we have the ability to add a track and that track is a series of tasks and it saves us reinventing the wheel every single time. So we can have a sales process in opportunities and set, um, in the pipeline and we can have our deliverable process in projects. So everybody's in the data bank and every organization is in the data bank. Some of those people, will uh, go on and have an opportunity created, created for them, for the sale that they're talking to you about, for the problem that they have and the solution that you're offering. And then some of those will go on to actually become clients, as many as possible. Um, and this is where we would then create a project for them and we can manage the work that we're delivering to them. And then Basically, I've got the arrows because once a project is completed, they can go back in and hopefully there's another opportunity to upsell or cross-sell. They may have another problem that you can solve for them. Um, they may be able to make use of another solution that you can give them through the services that you offer. So Transponds or another email delivery system such as MailChimp um, can support the whole of Capsule. Transpond is a sister company of Capsule. It's absolutely brilliant. If you haven't checked it out yet, then do. And I'm going to be doing some quick videos on that as well. And then an, an accounts package will also integrate with Capsule and support uh, the finances. So we've got Zero is my personal favorite, but we can also integrate with QuickBooks and FreshBooks. So do check out integrations with account packages as well. Okay, so three main areas of capsule. It's really important just to remember. So the data bank, we have, let's just think about each of those three areas in isolation, first of all. So we've got the data bank and there are certain groups of people or contacts, be it organizations or people that you want to group. So let's start off with organizations. So we could have an organization in there that it was a potential client or a prospect or even an associates organization. But off of an organization can hang a custom field. A good example of a custom field for an organization is industry. We can create custom fields. Uh, we can create lists. We can create checkboxes, free text fields, number fields, date fields. And so industry would be a very good list field for an organization. So when we create an organization, we have custom fields that are available for all organizations, and that could be industry, and we'd choose one of the items off of that list. 
And we can have numerous custom fields. We might also have the source of the um, organization. We might also um, have the location, for example. Uh, we might have the type of organization, the legal entity. And we can tag that organization. So that could be a prospect or a potential client or an actual client, or it could be an associate or a supplier. And we can have multiple tags on organizations. So we could have um, a supplier who's also a client, for example. And we can also have data tags. So data tags are tags that have an extra level of sophistication. They have custom fields that hang off of them. So an example there would be client active, could be the tag slash data tag. But because it's a data tag, then we have the custom field of which service are they receiving? And we can have multiple custom fields. So we might have which service are they receiving and the date the service was started. Now off of organization uh, or off of data bank are the person records because you don't need to have an organization to have a person in the system and you don't need to have anybody um, hanging off of the organization. It would make sense because it's the people that make the decision at an organization if you're gonna work with them. Um, the organization might be the legal entity that you have the commercial agreement with, but it's the person who has the issue and um, that you're solving. So it's the person that would also sign on the dotted line and agree to work with you. And um, it's the person that you have the relationship with and have the build the, um, the trust and offer the service. So. We can have custom fields that relate only to people. So that could be the role that they are in the organization. Perhaps they're a budget holder or a decision maker. Perhaps they're a business owner. Anything that is um, a good thing for you to capture, we don't capture unnecessary things on a CRM, but anything that is relevant to a good relationship with that person would be captured. So their role in the organization would be captured. You could also perhaps capture in the custom field the source of the contact. And then we have um, tags are available for people as well. So we would be tagging the person as an associate or even as an active client. And we can have numerous tags on the person as well as numerous tags on the organization. And we can have data tags on the person. So this um, might be networking. So perhaps you met somebody at a networking event and you wanted to capture which networking event. If you turn networking into a data tag, then when that data tag is applied to the person, then another um, group of custom fields appear. And that would be a good example of that would be which networking event and perhaps the date of the networking event. So we can see here from this structure that within the data bank, we can have an organization or a person. The person can hang off the organization or it can be um, with, without an organization. And we have custom fields that are available for all people in the system or all organizations in the system. Or we have tags that are available uh, for organizations and tags that are available for people. But then we have data tags and we have custom fields that pop up only when that data tag is added to the organization or to the person. And that concept follows through to opportunities. So we can have a whole bunch of, of custom fields that relate to all opportunities. Source of opportunity is a good one, a good example there. Or, and we can add tags to opportunities that might be interested in service A, interested in service B, interested in service C. And then we can add multiple tags. We might not know which service they're interested in. And then we can have data tags. So this could be interested in service D, but service D has various components. And so it has some custom fields that hang off of that data tag. So hopefully you can see how we can really start making the system uh, multi-led. And then we have projects and that's the same concept. We can have custom fields that relate to all projects that might be a date of kickoff meeting. And then we have tags that relate to projects. So perhaps we want to have um, receiving service A, receiving service B, receiving service C. And then maybe we have a data tag, which is reserving service, receiving service D. And this is actually um, means that we have to capture some extra information um, for that service. So we have custom fields that only appear if that data tag of receiving service D is added 
to the project. So I hope that helps. What I'm going to do now is actually share capture with you so that you can see how that looks in, um, in reality and how to create them. So, all right, there we go. So I am going to use an example of Lucy Lemon. So Lucy is currently a prospect, but we have been speaking to Lucy about doing some work. And so Lucy is turning into a client potential. And we have the ability here to capture whether Lucy is interested in service A, service B, or service C. So we would choose which service Lucy was interested in and we would click on save. So client potential is a data tag. And so that extra screen popped up and then we can see on the left hand side that we've got the information about Lucy when she's a potential client. Now that data tag also suggested that we create an opportunity. So we would create an opportunity for Lucy and we'd capture the information that we needed to on the opportunity as well. So I'm gonna click on test and just do that very quickly and expected value, stick in 10,000 and save. So what we can do is we can add a tag interested in service A. So it's a tag, not a data tag. So it just pops on there really nicely and easily. Okay, so we're gonna just project ourselves forward in time and um, just pretend that the conversation went really well, that the opportunity was won. And so we would then create a linked project. And that linked project would also be called test. And it would be on the service board, the, the project board of delivery of service A, B, and C. And we'd pop an expected close date in there. And we'd add a, a track if we had one, but we'd press save. And then we could add a tag to that project. Delivery of service A, B, or C, or perhaps as a partner program. Um, which we would uh, tag, which we wanted to add. So delivery of service A. So you can see that we have various tags that have been added to Lucy. We had client potential, and then we had a tag that was added to the opportunity, service A, and then we had a tag that was added to a project as well. So hopefully you can see how those three all pop up. Now, if we wanted to add a custom field, we would click on edit and we would pop down to custom fields and perhaps we'd have a start date of the project. So perhaps that might be the 8th of March um, and the kickoff session date might be scheduled for slightly later than that. And we'd press save. So we have custom fields that are available for all projects. So the kickoff date and the um, kickoff and the start date are available for all of the services that we offer. If we wanted to make them available just for service A, then we would have service A as a data tag and add those custom fields to that. So how do we do this actually in the system? Well, we go to our name top right, we go to account settings, custom fields are here on the left hand side. So these are custom fields that are available to all people and organizations or opportunities or projects. So we have industry, role, partner referral, legal entity, etc. some of the ones I mentioned earlier. And then we go back to account settings. If we want to create a tag, a data tag, we go to tags and data tags. So here's our list of tags. And say we wanted to turn business partner into a data tag, we would click on convert to data tag. So let's revert it to a tag. So we'd revert and then we convert it to a data tag just to show you. And then we have business partner and then we can add different types of fields. So if we had business partner as a data tag, perhaps we want to capture what date it was. Date became business partner. 
for example. And we might want that for people and organizations or one or the other. And the press save. So now, if we go back to Citrus Lemon and we add the tag business partner, we have date became business partner pop up and we can pop a date in there. So I'm hoping that you have found that useful. I do have some other quick tip videos that you might want to go and check out. Uh, do let me know if you have any questions. Um, do email me on uh, julia.blake at blakeconsultants.co.uk and I hope you found it useful. Thank you for watching.